Hey guys, it's Aaron. Uh, so something I was quoted as saying at some point in a video was that you should be able to, as a SketchUp user, as you learn SketchUp, you should be able to draw a sphere from scratch in a couple seconds. So I kind of just threw that out there and said that that's something you should be able to do. And I figured it makes sense to come back and show how you should be able to do that. So I figured we could do that today. We'll go hop in here and we'll actually go through the steps and I'll show you how to speed up creating a sphere from scratch inside of SketchUp. Now, before we start, I know there are extensions out there. There is solid, I can't remember what they're even called, um, shape tools or something like that, where you can actually have an icon and click on it and drop a shape like a sphere in. And that's awesome. I don't, if, if you like that, that's great. If you have your components, you have a sphere saved and you like to just drag them in. I'm not saying that's a bad thing to do. All I'm encouraging people to do is, as SketchUp users, have this under their belt. You know, have this tool in the tool chest that, if need be, using just the circle command and follow me, you could create a sphere in just a few seconds. So, disclaimer over, let's do this thing. Okay, so, like I said, two commands here. One is going to be circle. And the number of sides in the circle, of course, is going to change how smooth our sphere is. So right now, I have mine set to 48. So if yours looks a little different than mine, it may be because I actually bumped mine up to 48. So there's really only a couple steps in creating a circle. First is I'm going to draw a sphere on one plane. In this case, I'll just draw it on the blue plane. And I'm going to place the center of this point where I want the center of the sphere, if that's something I know, if I know exactly where that is. So I'm just going to click, drag, and click. This sphere does not matter how big it is. Um, generally speaking, when I do this process, I drag it way bigger than I need because uh, I want it to be out of my way. Now I'm going to draw a second circle. This circle is going to start at the middle, but I'm going to tap the green keyboard key, the left key on the keyboard to snap to the green axes. I'm going to put this in the center of that previous circle and pull this circle out. Now the size of this circle will matter. So I actually want to type in the proper radius that I want. So I want to, if I want a two foot sphere, I'm going to put in 12 here to put in uh, a radius of 12 inches. That gives me two foot all the way across. Now this is where I'm saying this is pretty simple because all I have to do right now is select my surface, the first surface I, I created, then I'm going to hit follow me and click on that circle I created. Now I can erase this and like that I have a sphere. Skill builder over. Okay, no, we can go into a little more detail and maybe talk about how to make that quickly. So let's go back in. Okay, so when I did create this, just to show you this, if I click show hidden, because the orientation of the spheres I used, the top point, the most geometry is right here at this middle point. If I was to move or do anything with this sphere, sphere really, I would want to probably move it and kind of place it by this point because I know it's in the middle. If I come to the side, I have to find the exact middle, the equator point, and that might be this one, but I don't know if that's on axes. Um, anyhow, that could be a pain. So what I would probably do if I was going to use this at this point would be right click, oh, triple click, right click, make it into a group, and then I would, depending on how I want to use this, probably even rotate it 90 degrees and then grab it by that point right there. And then I would go place that wherever I want it. So if I wanted that right here at the origin, um, I could place right there and then scoot it over 12 inches. That would put it directly centered on the origin, just as an example. Now, I could do a couple things to make that even easier. So if that was what I actually wanted, I'm, I'm sorry, Mark, I don't, we don't need to hang out right now. I got, I got some things, things to do. All right, so if I wanted to make that, I want to make exactly what I just made, a two foot sphere at the origin with the center of the sphere facing this direction. I'm gonna turn hidden back off. I'm gonna to go to circle. And I'm going to place my initial sphere on the green axis this time. And I'm just going to bring, again, bring way out, grab another circle, come right here, 
and this time I'll put it on the blue. So I'm reversing the axes that I'm initially drawing. This way, if I grab this right here, and I say follow me, and click right here, if I turn on show hidden, my point is facing forward, I delete this, it is centered on the axes, and that's just based on the direction I draw those. So one thing, I just wanna call this out because a lot of people do this, will come in with a circle and say they want that two foot sphere, draw this, one foot, come back to the middle, draw that one foot, all right, select the first circle, follow me, click here. This isn't a bad sphere, it is inside out, but that's easy enough, I can right click and say reverse faces. The reason I draw that first sphere bigger is so I don't end up with this. This is actually that sphere that I used as the initial geometry to follow. It's now welded with the geometry of my follow me, creating this disc on the inside. So to get rid of it, what I'd have to do is select this sphere, this half of the sphere, hide it, select this surface, delete it, go up to edit, unhide, last, triple click, right click, soften smooth edges, oops, soften smooth edges, re-soften to get rid of that. So by drawing that first sphere bigger, it prevents me from having to deal with that extra piece on the inside. So knowing all that we know, let's see how long it should take to draw a sphere. I'm gonna go ahead and start right here. There we go. So if you already know how to draw a sphere, hopefully you picked up a tip or two. If spheres have always kind of been a little bit scary as far as making them, then hopefully that demystified the process and hopefully you can practice those steps and get down to the point where you can do that in a couple of seconds. It really shouldn't take more than a few seconds to do that. Um, it's what, six or seven clicks total? So uh, it's a quick process. Hopefully you like that. If you did like that, if you learned anything, go ahead and give us a like down below. And if you enjoyed this video in general, want to be notified the next time a video like this comes out, click subscribe. We make these videos about once a week. So by subscribing, you'll know when those come out. Most importantly, please leave a comment. We make these videos for you guys and we love hearing about what we could add to them or maybe take away from them to make them everything you want them to be. Like making these videos a lot, but we like making them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.